Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a regular pentagonal pyramid of side of base 35 mm and altitude 65 mm resting on its base on the HP with the side of the base being perpendicular to VP. And also, the pyramid is cut by a section plane which is perpendicular to the VP and is inclined to HP at an angle of 30 degrees. Also, this cutting plane is meeting the axis of the pyramid at a distance of 30 mm below the vertex. So, the vertex is nothing but the apex of the pyramid. So, this is the condition given to us and we need to obtain the development of the remaining part of the pyramid. So, we have got the truncated pyramid development to be shown. So, the procedure here is first we need to construct the pentagon in such a way that one of its edges is perpendicular to VP. So this condition is nothing but the pentagon should be resting on one of its edges. That is uh, the edge should be on the left hand side or rather the corner should be on the uh, right hand side of the uh, observer. The edge must be on the left hand side of the observer. So either way it is fine but the condition is the edge must be perpendicular to the vertical plane. So this is the initial condition of the pyramid. So let us draft the solution select a line of thickness 0.18 mm draw a line of any arbitrary length and this is the reference line so now we shall construct the pentagon so select a line of thickness 0.13 so each side of the pentagon measures 35 mm the first angle being 0 the second angle being 72 next the edge length is 35 followed by the angle 72 into 2. Next we have got 35 mm as the edge length and 72 into 3 as the angle. Next the angle will be minus 72 or 72 into 4. So this completes the construction of the pentagon. Now select the pentagon and rotate this in the condition in which it is supposed to be resting. So what we will do is we will select the corner and the edge opposite to it and that edge whichever is selected for rotation shall be made perpendicular to the vertical plane so now move this to a comfortable position so during all the steps ensure the copy option is off so now we'll consider this edge to be perpendicular to the vertical plane so if you are having this edge towards the right hand side even then it is not a problem so we'll take this edge on the left hand side now we will complete the triangular faces. So for that, go to the Intelli sketch and then select the midpoint. Click OK. Select a line of thickness 0.13. So from the corner, draw a line meeting the midpoint of the opposite edge. So repeat this for all the corners. And then we can trim the lines to get the triangular faces. So go to the trim option. So except for the lines that is running from the corners, trim the lines that are in between. So that completes the construction of the triangular faces of the pyramid. So we have got one more corner. So from this corner, join it to the point where all the triangular lines are meeting. So this completes the triangular faces of the pentagonal pyramid. So now let us generate its front view by drawing the projections from each of the corners. So the axis will originate from the apex. So now go for the line option, select the axis line. So from this point, let us draw the axis. So let us keep the midpoint off so that it is not uh, disturbing the construction. So the axis measures 65 mm as per the problem statement and it shall be a perfect 90 degree line. So this is the axis. So now again go for the line option, select a continuous line of thickness 0.13. So from the apex, join this to the end point of all the projection lines drawn from the corners. So this completes the generation of the triangular faces of the pyramid. So now we'll go for annotation select the text option from the annotation select a text of suitable size so now let us annotate the xy line first 
and also the reference planes that is VP and HP. So now we'll start with this corner. So we will tell this is the corner A of the base of the pyramid, corner B, corner C, corner D and then corner E. Also the apex is O and then the center of the base of the pyramid is O1. So we will annotate the front view. So this is O1 dash followed by O dash and next this is the corner D dash and next this corner is C dash inside the bracket E dash and this corner is B dash and inside the bracket it is A dash so this is the annotation of the front view of the pyramid so go for the smart dimension show the length of the axis and also the length of any one edges of the base of the pyramid which is equal to 35 so now with this condition we shall go for constructing the cutting plane so the cutting plane is inserted in such a way that it is at a distance of 30 mm from the apex or the vertex that is o and then it is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle of 30 degrees so for that select a line of thickness 0.13 but now select a discontinuous line so this is the projection line so now let us mark a point at a distance of 30 mm from the apex so from the apex draw a line of 30 mm so this is only for the construction so 30 mm so now from this end point draw a line which is inclined to the horizontal plane as shown at an angle of 30 degrees go for the extend to next option and extend this cutting plane until it is interacting with all the slant edges of the pyramid in the front view select the trim option and you can just trim this and even this line which is drawn on the axis so go for the distance between select the apex of the pyramid and also the point of intersection so this is the required height at which the cutting plane is intersecting the pyramid so now let us just mark the slant edges with a thick line on the front view so this edge this part of the triangular edge the complete base of the pyramid and then this part of the triangular face edge and then this edge that is c dash o dash and e dash o dash so in the front view only these three edges are visible to the observer and the same edges behind them are also intersected by the cutting plane so now with this understanding let us annotate the points of interaction so go for the text option so now we'll move in the chronological order of a b c d e so first triangular edge of the slant edges o dash a dash it is interacted at the point one dash in the front view and at the point one in the top view so it is exactly on o a so that is why i'll be annotating it as one here and next part is o b okay so ob is also interacted by the point 2 dash here and next the point 2 is here so on the corner or on the edge ob similarly next we have got o dash c dash as 3 dash and here it is the point 3 and next we have got o dash d dash so this is the point 4 dash and here is the point 4 on the top view the next slant edge is OE and it is interacted by the cutting plane here at a point 5 dash and that point 5 is here so this completes the annotation of the interaction of the cutting plane with the slant edges so now we will highlight the visible portion even in the top view so since it is lying on all the corners highlight the entire pyramid using a 0.5 mm thickness line and also the slant edges so now we shall draw the initial condition that is the cut section of the entire pentagonal pyramid so as we can observe that one of its slant edges that is od is parallel to the hp and we can assume that o dash d dash itself is the true slant edge so just measure this length 
of the two slant edge that is from O dash to D dash and this is equal to 71.49 so the radii of the arc that we are going to construct will be having 71.49 as its dimension so go for arc by center point select a line of thickness 0.13 mm so from any arbitrary point just sweep a arc of radii 71.49 mm okay then go for the line option so join one end of the arc to the center point and then from that point you can take the arc by center point again and then start constructing the five arcs which is measuring 35 mm in radius so we are going to divide the arc into five equal parts because the pentagonal pyramid will be composed of five triangular faces so all the distance of the arcs will be equal to 35 mm and always take the center point for the next arc from the point of inter intersection only so this is the next arc so we have got one two three four and we have to divide one more part so from the point of intersection draw an arc of radii 35 mm so now go for the line option so from the point of intersection draw a straight line to meet at the first point of center that is o which is nothing but the apex of the pyramid so these are all the slant edges so now join the base of the pyramid so join them to the end points so now you can go for the trim option and trim this curves which were used for construction So we have got five triangular faces one two three four and five so now it is time for us to annotate so let us annotate the apex as o so we'll use capital letters here because they're all the true dimensions of the object b c d e and then o a again so now we need to mark these points so what we will do is we'll shift all these points to the slant edge the true slant edge so 1 dash 2 dash is here 3 and 5 is here 4 is anyways on the true slant edge so go for the distance between measure the distance from o dash to 1 dash 2 dash which is equal to 41.98 so o to point 1 we need to draw a line of length 41.98 98 mm draw a line so you'll get that point as one similarly on this edge of oa also draw a line of length 41.98 mm and stop it here and this is also for two that is on ob 41.98 and next we need to know the distance between o dash to 3 dash and 5 dash which is equal to 30.5 so go for the line option from o draw a line of length 30.5 again on oe draw a line of 30.5 mm So you can just have this uh, measured to cross check but you need not have to show the dimensions here just show the dimension of this entire arc radii which is equal to the length of the slant edge here and then we need to mark the point uh, 4 so for that go for distance between 4 and then o dash and this is 26.1 so on OD, draw a line of length 26.1. 
so you get the point 4 there so now go for uh, the line option select a line of thickness 0 0.50 so when you move the cursor on the corresponding uh, slant edges you get those end points and then start connecting them so one is here and then two is here this is the point three while this is the point four this is the point five and next the point one again so go for annotation so now you can just annotate the points so this is one two three four five one again select a line of thickness 0 0.50 and then complete the development of the truncated portion of the pyramid so the base should all be highlighted and then the distance from the corresponding point to the base must also be darkened so all the five slant edges so this completes the development now go for annotation and then type development indicating that this region is the development of the truncated portion of the pyramid go for the smart dimension show the dimension of any one of these edges which is equal to 35 mm which is nothing but the edge length of the pyramid and then the slant radii can be shown here so these are all for the uh, construction purpose so you need not have to show these dimensions here it is understood that these points are transferred here so with this we complete drafting the solution for the given problem which tells that there is a pentagonal pyramid resting in such a way that one of its edges is perpendicular to the vp and that edge in this problem solution is ab and then we have got a cutting plane which is passing at a distance of 30 mm from the axis and is inclined to vp at an angle of 30 degrees so better to show that also so select the cutting plane and this any reference line for that matter and this is the inclination angle 30 degrees of the cutting plane then mark the points since one of its slant edge is parallel to the xy line this slant edge itself can be considered as the true slant edge and then we will sweep a radii of that particular uh, dimension and then we will mark the points and then complete the development of the pyramid so with this we complete the drafting of the solution for the given problem statement thank you all for watching